What's going on guys? Welcome to this short forecast for this week. Today is my birthday, so being a rebel, I've cracked open a non-alcoholic beer at 20 to 10 in the morning to celebrate with you guys while we go over this quick breakdown of the dollar and the opposing pairs. So what can we expect this week, guys? So what I'm looking at here, let me remove this, I'll cover it again. What I've noticed on the daily, guys, is we have got a channel, mini channel forming here. And what we can see is price made a high, came to the lows, didn't break previous lows, failed the high, failed the high, came back to the lows here, failed the high, we broke the low here, we didn't break this previous low, filled the high again. So what can we expect price to do? Head down to the bottom of this channel. So what I'm currently waiting for, guys, is we draw a couple of trend lines here, waiting for some confluence here. We've got one trend line here. We've got one trend line here. And what you can see is price is currently sitting right on this trend line here. So what's price going to do, guys? It's either going to breach or bounce so ideally what we want to see by tomorrow is a solid candle close under this trend line here that will give us more confirmation that we are heading down to the bottom of this channel here and if we break these lows again look we've got a breaker structure here from the last low of the daily that will confirm potentially that we are heading now into a down into a downtrend but what we'll see when we get to this point because this is a strong level of resistance look let me delete that <clears throat> we can see here look is strong level of resistance we're going to see a lot of turbulence here we're going to see price come down here price come up here price fake out price go up and down might go up and test the highs again might come back down it's going to be you know a bit of a roller coaster when we get to this level so what i'm looking at is a nice smooth push down to this level once we get to this level we're gonna see as i said then turbulence we could break through fake out like we've done here like we've done here and close above if we fake out and close above and stay in with this channel then we're going to aim for the highs so we want to be looking at the dollar every day the dollar is going to determine the movement of everything that we trade um, with our signals so we need to have this in mind and when we're looking at gold we're going to gold now what we can see on gold is we've got some filled lows here and we can see, we can build a story here. We've got some equal lows here. So this could be potential liquidity. And if we're building a story with this, this could be liquidity that's grabbed. If we get the push here, down to this level here, which is an area of a lot, which is an area that will have a lot of liquidity in, we will see potentially a bounce or a fake out, a big bounce here. And what that could give us is if we get the direction on the dollar today, which we're expecting the push up here, uh, sorry, the push down, that is going to give us a push up here on gold. Because what we've got is, look, we've got, oh, we've got gold sitting right on this trend line here, basically in exactly the same situation as the dollar. We can see the dollar here, look, sitting right halfway through this trend line here, gold sitting basically looking like it wants to break through that trend line. So what we're going to see, if the dollar breaks through here, we're going to see gold break here. And what we want to see, if we're going to be trading this, these are going to be our, our targets, right up to this previous swing point here. So what we want to see is, if we get a push down today and a close on the dollar, we'll get a push up here and we'll get a close on gold. And then we want to look to start buying gold up to at least this level. Because look, we've got a short push here, and this short push will probably be this push on the dollar, uh, sorry, on gold here to this level. And then when we get a big pullback, depending on how large the pullback is, if we go all the way back to the top of this channel, that could send gold up here and all the way back down, swiping this liquidity here, and then up, and then up to this TP here. I wish it was just as simple as, yep, TP1, TP2. But... The market doesn't want us to make money, so we've got to play the market at its own game. So if we see, come all the way back to the top of the channel, we'll see this here. And then we might see a 100 liquidity, and if we see a big continuation, then we'll see gold do the opposite. We'll see gold continue, break the lows, and continue to plummet. However, gold, uh, the dollar is stalling, so we are going to see 
a push down to here and we could see a push back to the top of the channel. So I'm looking to trade these main zones here because these are our main reversal zones. So I'll be looking for the one hour, 30 minute head and shoulder patterns, reversal patterns here and reversal patterns here that line up with support and resistance, supply and demand, however you want to trade it in these zones here. Because whatever confluence you're using, when the dollar gets to here, whether you're trading supply and demand, support and resistance, momentum breaks, whatever, you'll find that you'll get your mitigation zones when price is in this, you'll find you get your, your patterns. If you're trading patterns, you'll find you you get your liquidity hunch. You get in the, if that's what you trade, if you're trading Wyckoff, you know, in these zones is where you'll find those key reversal points for the bigger, higher time frame swing moves. So that's what we're looking at there on the dollar. So let's have a quick look at US 30. So we can see uh, on the daily, this is thing I, uh, something I noticed earlier. We're coming right up to a higher time frame trend line here, daily trend line. So if we break this trend line, I mean, we're going to have some um, some big pumps here and the movement of the dollar is going to influence this as well. So this first push of the dollar here, because this looks look like we're going to get a big potential reversal here like this. And if we look on gold, this is what I'm looking at here, you know, like this and big reversal like this, the start of a brand new impulse leg. And if you look on US 30, What I'm looking at here is if we get a break back above this high, then this is going to continue pumping back to back to previous highs. It might not yet. It depends on the movement of the dollar. So what I'm looking at with the dollar is this push down here. That push down is going to potentially be this push up here. And we could potentially see um, price take this liquidity out here, close back below, and then push down somewhere down here. And then the same with gold, pump back up because it's all dependent on this movement here the dollar's going if the dollar decides to shoot all the way back up here that's a big movement for the dollar from from 108 remember on the daily time frame all the way to 112 this could be a movement where we get a fake out up here or we even get a big push up here and we close below and then this comes down here and then we get another reversal back up and then hit that that main tp at the top there you know just like we covered on the on the gold so i'll leave it there guys i don't want to keep you on here all day. I'll show you my challenge here. Look, I was super pissed off because I, I I added drawdown on there. I wanted to keep my drawdown below 2%, but because of that stupid trade, I was so angry um, with that. Uh, I didn't want to start a new one though. I want to I want to keep it as transparent as possible. I don't just want to, oh yeah, I'll start a new one. So I, no, I want to keep the first one here. And then it's, it's all part of the story. It's all part of the journey. So we're still up 0.46%. Uh, I'm on a mission now to blast back through these... Uh, or profits here, get this doubled, tripled, we'll times that by 10 this month, and, uh, you know, just continue to soar, guys. But that's it. Anyway, if you've got any questions, um, let me know. And uh, if you're not in the VIP, guys, highly recommend you get in there. It's a lot of fun. Um, and that's it. So have a good day. I'm going to enjoy getting arsehole on my non-alcoholic beers. And um, yes, guys, see you in the VIP group.